Hi everybody, this is April from Knit and Kitten Crafts here on, yep, on YouTube. I am here today on Wednesday, March 16th with an update. Camera is different. I am not looking at it. It's going to take a little bit to get used to this camera setup. I apologize for any, I'm not looking at you, things going on. Um, so I've got a couple things. I've got some haul over here. I've got a project I want to update you on. Actually, two projects I want to update you on. Um, that right there is not one of them. <laughs> that, that's something I'm currently working on. Um, so let me go ahead and get started with my first piece that I want to update you guys on. And that is going a bit out of order of uh, when I was working on it is the year-long mystery sampler from, who is it from? I don't remember. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I was not quite as prepared as I thought I was. I apologize. It is uh, the 2020 Linen and Threads mystery sampler um, designed by Fox and Rabbit for the Linen and Threads uh, needlework store and this is what it all looked like when it's done I the last time I updated you said I was going to be working on this that is April's block I think in fact I was actually working on this bottom corner here for March so I had gotten January and February done so March was these two down here with a little bit of this. So here is where I was the last time I, you sh I showed it to you. And here is where I'm at. So I've reached the bottom of the pattern. So there's the top. And all the way back up. I will say I like this camera setup because the light right now is showing everything perfectly. I am using a 28 count um, mushroom even weave I got from Hobby Lobby years ago and DMC 336 2 over 2. Um, so we'll pick this up again in April to work on it. Um, get that next block done. So I'm quite, I I'm, was very pleased with um, how it's turning out. I absolutely love these, this color combination here. It is, I, find, I think it's perfect. It, it is a dark navy blue, even though it's kind of showing up a little bit black, but it is a very dark navy blue. So that is that one. So I'll be right back with my next piece. Okay, let's try this again. Um, my husband called and interrupted that earlier bit. What are you trying to do, kitten? Robin. Okay, so piece I want to show you guys <laughs> is called uh, Notebook Love by uh, Barefoot Needle Arts. That is what it'll look like when it's done. I don't remember exactly where I was the last time I showed it to you. So I'm going to insert a picture here. And here is where I'm currently at. It's a little stretched out because I've had it, you know, in a queue step for the last couple weeks. But that is where I'm currently at. As you can see, I ran out. When I first kitted this up, I only got two skeins of the Grape Fizz, which is this purple color. The chart says to get three. I don't know why I only got two, but I did. So I had to order me some more, which I got today, and I'm going to show it to you guys in my haul in a few minutes. But I have been working on filling that in for most of the month while I'm at work because it's just straight fill in. All I have to do is just, I can pick it up, 
do a couple stitches while I'm waiting on something and then put it down and continue working until next time I have to wait. So <clears throat> I probably got a hundred stitches left from that, maybe. So my third skein isn't going to be used very much. And then once I do have that filled in, I will take an evening, that same evening that I get this done, get the fill in done, and do all the back stitching that's there for the feathers. And this will hopefully be done this month, <laughs> which is what I am actually looking aiming for. Um, so there's that piece. So let me go ahead and put this piece away and back on the Q-snap and I will be back in a few minutes. All right, I'm back once again. Um, my husband is home. We've had dinner. <laughs> so I'm back again with the rest of my video, uh, my clips. So this little portion is going to be my haul. I got from one, two, three stitch. And if you hear some strange noises, it's my dog over there. She's about to start turn on some boats. So I've got three things from one, two, three stitch. Uh, the first one is some more DMC 336 because there's no way I have enough in the house to do the mystery sampler. So that's that. And then, like I had mentioned earlier, I got another skein of Grape Fits. This is a pretty color. My husband asked me though the other day when he saw it, why are this one's purple? Like, eh, design it, design it that way. It's like, okay. And then, of course, threads can't travel alone. So, I went ahead and got Mirabilia Royal Holiday, aka Christmas Queen. Focus, there we go. She is absolutely gorgeous. She is number 78 from Mirabilia Designs. I, <clears throat> I kind of want to do the rest of the queens, but I know that they're all out of print. So, um, unless I find it in a day stash somewhere on like Facebook, I'm not getting them. <laughs> as much as I would like them, I'm not, I'd like to get it. I'm not going to. So that is all of the haul video as of right now. <laughs> um, I do have some other projects that I've been working on. I have already started working on Christmas gifts, even though it's March. I actually started in January. <laughs> um, I am hand beading <coughs> um, some Christmas ornaments for each set of my family. So one for my mom, one for my dad since they're divorced, one for my each of my brothers and their family. Um, so that's like five, six of them I have to make. So that is all I've got for right now. I will come back later when I have another update. Until then guys, bye. Hey guys, it is April from Knit Kitten Crafts once again. I'm giving you an update on my other full coverage piece that I have started. This is a piece that is for my husband. It is going to be wall size <laughs> when it is done. Uh, this is actually only part one out of like 20 something. This um, is a portion of a map from a video game called Skyrim. Here's the whole map, and then here's the portion that I'm working on now. I started this a couple years ago. I did not touch this at all last year, and I had decided for my whip go this year, this was a whip go piece in March, that I was going to um, work on this piece for 4,000 stitches for whip go. Which I did, which I did get, I did get my 4,000 stitches in, which I'm very happy with. Um, but I had also decided because it is so large and so time consuming that I was going to work on this whenever I streamed for Twitch. Um, and I'm, and I've decided to do that and that is going to be at least 400 stitches each time I just, I do that, which is gonna, which takes me about two hours to do, which I'm happy to say is how I got my 4,000 stitches in. 
Um, so this is actually being done on 28 count Easy Guide um, fabric from Zweigart. I'm doing this one over one full cross and those stitches are tiny. <laughs> um, so I'm doing a bit of a, a waist away knot method because it is so tiny and I've got this on a floor stand here that um, I just it's just easier to do it this way to put my away thread at least one block over from where I want to start both starting and ending and that way the next um, block will cover that and then once I get the block filled next to it I just snip off that part so that's that piece this is my scar map so I'll be showing you guys this piece uh, every month until it's done all right talk to you guys later bye good afternoon everybody this is April from knit and kitten crafts again this is April 1st and I am here with an update on my monthly piece I'm sorry for the shaking this is Fireside Fairy Tales by Randall Spangler, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. It is being done two over one half cross stitch or ten stitch. Um, uh, one over one. <laughs> I think they're sorry about that. I am working each page on a diagonal. And then within each page, I am also working each. 100 stitch 10 by 10 grid in a diagonal so there is where I am at I will have hopefully showed you the whole thing what it'll look like when it's done as well as where it was the last time I showed it to you I think the last time I was just about finished with this page so I got that page done and then started on this one and I'm about halfway done with this page Fun fact, I did some math the other day, and I am about 26% done with this whole piece. So I am a quarter of the way through, which is exciting. So that's it for this. I will see you guys later. Bye. Good afternoon, everybody. This is April from Knit and Kitten Crafts once again. It is April 1st, and I am here to finish up my video update. So I've got one project that I'm going to show you now. I've got um, two video clips that I need to add in and another little bit of haul. So let's start with haul because it's the simplest one. <laughs> so I had to um, go online and to Joanne's and get some buttons because I'm making a doll. <laughs> and uh, my dog decided she was going to eat the buttons so I had to get some more. Now the buttons themselves all total only cost like three bucks. Shipping was gonna be like another ten. So like I'm not spending ten dollars to get three dollars worth of items. So I got something else added to my order. And that is this. Oh clear, I'm sorry. It is a Dimensions Petite Coat Collection Elegant Geisha. I have um another geisha um that's about the same size as well as the Samurai uh, that I have already done in the past. So I got this one to complete the set. I don't know when I want to start this. It's something that's going to go into my stash until I'm ready to start. But it's the whole kit. I like these cards. I like it when they put those card, put the thread on those cards like that. It makes it so much easier to figure out what color is what. So that is my haul. That is the end of my haul for this month. So the piece that I want to update you guys on is my wedding sampler piece by Teresa Wensley. Here's what it will look like when it's done. Ish. <laughs> Here's what it looked like the last time I showed it to you. And let me put that up. There we go. That is where I'm at. Here we go. So I've got these three small little pages down at the bottom. I started working on that page on the 28th um, and I only worked on it I think two or three days this week so that's as far as I've gotten 
I've gotten most of the greens done. I'm on that last color of green in the bottom for this particular page. And I'm just doing, I'm just picking a symbol that's next. Um, let's see, let me get it so we can actually hold it better and closer. There we go. I can actually see it. <laughs> it's so much better. So at the top of the page here, um, all I was doing was grabbing a, you know, looking at one symbol, grabbing that color, and working that symbol throughout this whole page. So, there we go. Started off with greens. Once I finish this color that's still on my needle, I'll get over into the pinks, and that'll finish up these two um, garlands. And then once the garland is done, I will go in to the block and finish up that set of flowers, which will look somewhat similar to that one up there. But each of these four corners, the flowers, um, how they are put in that block is different. It's not mirror image or anything. So makes it makes it uh, interesting at the very least. So that is the updates that I want to do for right now. Sorry, my clamps here. Um, so the next Whipco pieces have been called, um, let's see, I have both of them up over here ready to go, uh, for when I start working on them next. Um, I will be gone to a little mini class retreat, um, held by the Silver Needle. It is a Jeanette Douglas, not a Jeanette Douglas. Is it Jeanette Douglas? Yes, it is a Jeanette Douglas. <laughs> it's sticking up on my wall over here, so that reminds me. Um, let's see, Friday and Saturday. So I'll be gone that weekend. Um, that's going on. I'll give you guys, um, hopefully I will remember to take some video and pictures. And if I remember to do so, I will upload them into my next video and show you guys how that weekend went. <clears throat> um, let's see, what else is going to go on next month? Gardening is going to start up soon. I have to get my seeds started soon. <laughs> um, because where I'm situated, we don't actually plant in the ground until after Mother's Day because the weather tends to be wet and cold and wet and cold. <laughs> We did that last year and half of our plants drowned in the water because of the rain. So we're going to do better this year and wait until after Mother's Day. That's when the weather tends to even out and not be so fluctuating. So got that to do. Got my little mini class retreat coming up. I am streaming on Twitch and I do that three times a week in the evenings uh, for at least two hours. Um, Fridays tend to be a bit more since I don't have to work the next day. So that'll keep on going. Um, that's it. Just working on all my pieces as much as I can, considering life happens. <laughs> so, um, thank you guys for, you know, watching my video, stopping by, saying hi, liking, subscribing to my videos. I really appreciate it. Um, if you want to join me on my streams um, and see what I'm stitching and you know just generally chat with me while I'm stitching, um, I will go ahead and post a link to my channel um, in the description box below. So that way, if you guys are interested, if you don't have to, there's no obligation to do any of that. Um, it's there for you guys whenever you want. So until next month, guys, thank you for stopping by. And remember to enjoy your stitching. Bye. All right, I'm back once again. I totally forgot a project. <laughs> it is still April 1st. It is much later in the day. <laughs> I totally forgot a project. Didn't realize it until I was editing my video and it's like, I have a picture clip. Did I actually do that one this month? <laughs> I did. So this pic this project that I'm wanting to show you is Athena, Goddess of Wisdom by Mirabilia. It is, um, here's what it'll look like when it's finished. Here's what it looked like the last time I showed it to you. And here it is now.
This is being done 2 over 2 on 28 count brash by Pictureless Plus um, with all the called for threads and beads and stuff. I have not put any beads in it yet. This is essentially my first page done. I have all of the back stitching done on this page. The only thing that's left on this particular page is all the beading, which is going to wait until after the whole thing's done. So, she's absolutely gorgeous. Looks so much better now that she's got a face. And yeah, it looks so much better now that the wing, it's all detailed. That looks so good. So, I am going to, the next time I pick this up, don't know when that'll be, I'm going to work over here on this side, get the column and the edge of the piece done, right there. And I think once I get that done, I'll go over and do this side. Sorry, that all will be done. There's the whole thing. <laughs> There's the whole piece of fabric. But, it's like, I can't believe I totally forgot to put to show you guys a project that I had done, that I had actually worked on this month. So, there's that. This will go at the end of the video. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking down to fold and put it away. Um, so, yep, yeah, that's it for me for March, hopefully. <laughs> um, I'll be, be streaming tonight, April 1st. Um, that's it, really, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Thank you for liking, subscribing, showing up, uh, watching it. I appreciate it. So until next time, guys, enjoy your crafting. Bye.